Now I know that you as a weeb have always thought about looking or finding some type of portal, some type of thing, some type of way to transport yourself from your shitty life as a fucking, let's say, McDonald's employee, Taco Bell employee, I don't know why I'm just saying fast food, let's say, Dick Sporting Goods, like, what, it would suck if you worked at Dick Sporting Goods, because, like, you're just looking at all these hot people fucking get, I don't know, like, rackets and shit, with their million dollar houses and shit, and you're just like, hey, I'm just scanning you out, Probably not even getting commission. I'm gonna put you guys on some game. My top 10 isekai anime that I think that you guys have never seen before. Now, you guys might be saying, Caleb, Caleb Sama, listen, don't hit me with SAO. I don't wanna hear about that shit. Don't hit me with I sell world. I've heard of it before. Give me something new. Now, children, here, listen to me. I got you. I might not be accurately giving you a proper representation, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, with the power of editing, this is going to make sense. Now, before we get on to the video, I have something that I want you guys to do for me. You know, do it for your Uncle Caleb Sama. I want you guys to go hit the like button and also subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know whenever I post a video. So, without further ado, now, let's hop straight into the video. Now, the first anime that I got for you guys is an anime called In Another World With My Smartphone. Now... And this anime, what makes it so good for me personally, is that I just love how it has a few factors which, in which if you're a guy or if you're um, even a girl, hey, 2021, I have to say, I like harem. I love harem <laughs> and I love action and I like overpowered. This anime basically has a mix of all that just in one package. Now, animation wise, it's not the greatest. Like, you know, I, I've seen better animation in other places, but when it comes to the overall plot, so it's not really a plot, you know, like it's just a guy getting transported into a place with his smartphone and he's just friends with God. I, listen, man, like, look, I, I'm not the writer of this hand. He's like friends with like a God deity who just makes his phone broken and he just is able to do a lot of amazing things, which gets all these girls wet, which <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Like, basically, the premise of it is that Buddy comes down to a magical world, be makes a party consistently filled with women, and then goes and does magical things, does very record-breaking stuff, and then just gets eight to nine wives at the end of the last episode, which eight. If you like harem, action, you like all that mixed into one place, then let me tell you, aside from the animation, this anime is actually pretty dang good respectfully angel beats now the reason why i like angel beats which i'm pretty sure it's very old anime you can tell by the animation style it's still very good because look basically the premise is that the main character is dead and the girl welcomes him to death say hey congratulations you're dead kind of fucked up i don't you know if i had to be honest kind of fucked but the whole thing is that they're basically fighting against another chick in order to so that they can stay in this dead realm and not become flies or some sh listen i'm sorry i'm not giving a good represent okay here let me let me let me help you out this narration caleb's gonna give you a little bit of help here it is angel beats it is set up in an environment of high school in the afterlife a type of limbo where people who have experienced trauma or hardships in life must overcome them before passing on or being reincarnated the story follows yuzuru otanashi a boy with amnesia who ends up in the afterlife. Thank you. Now, basically, this anime, if I had to be honest, if I had to rate it out of, like, 10, that shit was a good 8 out of 8, man. Like, I, I think the reason why I loved it so much was mainly because of the friendship. The friendship, of, like, between all the characters, the goofy moments of them being immortal and being able to do a lot of things as a family and becoming Nakama and stuff like that was just so wholesome. And then as the anime was progressing, you were getting more attached with every single character that was there. And then as that was happening, you know, some characters who were super annoying, like this girl with the pink hair, who honestly, she was annoying as Shiza. Like, honestly, she was so annoying. But then when she disappeared, it, it hurt. You know, it hurt on a, like, on a, on a deeper level. First, I really did enjoy the, co the comedic aspects. Next thing, the plot was actually pretty damn good. And the last, upon last thing, is that 
I don't have one. It's good. Go watch it. <laughs> Cautious Hero. Now, from the name of the anime in general, it was released, what, later this last year or probably this year. I don't really know. This is the year right here. So, it was released around this time. And what was really good about the anime, if I had to be honest, is that I don't know why, but whenever I see an isekai anime, you do get, a, you get an overpowered character. That's cool. But then... Let's just say, per se, that you get an overpowered character who basically is so afraid to get any type of damage that he would he purposely would go crazy on the slime monster, which is like, what, one one level? While he's like level 1,000 and has used the strongest move in his arsenal while, uh, uh, like, while, while a blonde chick is just telling him, why the fudge are you doing this? Well, we're going into the world of Kasha's Hero, which I have to be honest, man, this anime... Is, it gives me Konosuba vibes, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know what Konosuba is, but it gives me big Konosuba vibes, because usually whenever there's an angelic being or some type of cute-ass girl in the beginning of the show that has is in a position of power, usually just think that they're just going to look wholesome throughout the whole anime. I'm going to be honest, man. I feel bad for this chick and the amount of stuff she had to go through with this main character. Now, the main character looked like Sasuke. I'm not going to lie. He probably has some baggage on him, you know? It looked like he went through some trauma. Look at the bags under his eyes. Like, he's looking scary. I have to go and give a respect to the writer because, honestly, didn't think I was going to care that much. I just thought it was going to be all laughs, funny, and stuff like that, and that's it. I didn't know that the last episode, I would actually feel something. I felt something. I felt sad. You guys might feel sad or, or not. You probably don't have a heart. But if you do, you'll slap the like button right now. Aside from that, the anime on its own has its own... It has its own ups, it has its own downs. One thing I have to say is that if you were looking for something funny, like this. Kill you! <laughs> then you will definitely, definitely love to watch Cost Hero. Definitely put it on your watch list. Go on my anime list and go put that thing on right now. The Rising of the Shield Hero. I think I have an addiction to it. I can't wait till season two. I think it's confirmed. I love animes where the main character is betrayed. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm on. I don't know why I'm on Sad Boy Summer, man. You know, it's 2021. I, I shouldn't be like this. I shouldn't be in a in a place where I, I'm thinking negatively about a lot of stuff. But that's just my brain. I'm sorry. I'm a degenerate. Like that's just how it is. We're gonna go into in the head of now for me, Summer. I'm calling him Summer because I'm giving him his fucking respect. Respect that. He was like the weakest hero out of the four cardinal heroes, which they had, I think, a sword, uh, a sword, a shield, a spear, and a sword. <laughs> and an arrow. Damn. I'm already fucking up. We have like a sword, a shield, a spear, and a freaking arrow. And guess which one now for me had? Are you guessing? Write it in the comments down below. A shielder in most games, like, you usually see them, they're not really the greatest characters. They're probably, like, healers and stuff. Like, you know, they're not really very important to the party. But the thing that makes this anime so great is not only the expedition, not only the travels, not only the, the fan service. There was, there was a few of that, which I don't know if it's legal because... What made it so good is that you made a character who was put in a situation where he was accused of rape. Some pretty tough shit. Like, he was accused of rape. No one respected him. Literally, dude was supposed to get fame, glory, bitches, and all that shit. And Buddy literally just got hit with a prenup. Well, not a prenup. He got hit with a restraining order. And then, like, everyone just ridiculed him and called him shit and started spitting on him and stuff. For you to come from that, to become an amazing character in which everyone's screaming your name and giving you all the respect, I have to, I have to commend you. I have to respect you for that. Because I'm going to be honest, not much anime can do that for me. For me to feel him and his pain and see him grow as a character, that is one thing that got me into this anime. Because... From one place to another, you felt like you were growing with him. His travels, you just saw, like, the lessons you learned. I felt like I was watching fucking Sesame Street. I was learning about, not only about the, the show and the characters, but I was learning about myself and how I have trust issues. But trust this. If you want an isekai that's very, very different, that honestly has bridged the realm of being from normal to different, 
definitely watch Rising of the Shield Hero. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hopefully you guys enjoyed. Now I know I didn't make it to 10. I'm sorry. I clickbaited. You know, that's what YouTube is. You clickbait and do some random stuff. I know I didn't make it to 10. I was trying to appease the YouTube gods, but hey, hopefully you guys still enjoyed. And hopefully you guys, I gave you guys some more anime to put on your my anime list and your crunchy rolls. If you're doing illegally. Now, I want you to comment this word, Washanga, at the bottom so I can make sure that you guys made it to the end of the video because I will go and shout out the next person who commented Washanga at the end of the video in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching again. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.